All right, folks, welcome back. We're on another project. Contractor wants to do demolition on these buildings right behind me. So we got a lot going on out here. Please, guys, if you like these types of videos, please subscribe, like the channel, leave a comment if you have anything to say, and let's get into it. So here are the transformer buzzing, so the transformer is still active, still energized, just in case the, just because the building is getting demoed, doesn't mean nothing, it means if you hear it humming here, you know it's still energized. So that's why folks you want to baby step it in because look at the radius we got going into the transformer so it's always good when you get close especially when you hook that chair take it nice and easy because these transformers have grounds as well there's grounds out here on all four corners grounding out this whole transformer so your tone might get shitty like how my tone's getting kind of shitty arrows plenty more this way because it's leading to a ground that's over here. So that's where you want to baby step it to get as close as possible, mark accurately. And plus off this transformer, we have another cable coming off the pole. So we have to go by the pole and hook up and get the second set out here. So this is the first set that I marked out that goes to that transformer, set of three. And then now we have another set from this transformer going all the way to the pole. So there are gonna be two marks here to indicate six cables to be another mark here from the pole. If it makes sense, guys, if you have any questions, leave it in a comment. I know it gets kind of confusing about um, marking out electric with these transformers and different sets of cables going from transformer to transformer, from pole to transformer to transformer. So this looks like this is my pole right over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to match the pole number to what my print shows to make sure this is exactly the pole that I need to be at. Three nine zero two zero. That serves the pole number. It matches a print. It goes to that transformer by the bank. And when you guys located these poles, 
Make sure the U guard here is grounded. And here's the ground right up here. Make sure these is grounded to the U guard. And you look all the way up on the ground to make sure it's all the way up connected to the cable all the way up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But you can see the wire coming off. It's going on to each of those cables. It's grounding out the cable. So if that cable has any issues at it, and it wants, if it's detected any trouble, so all the force of that cable, all the energy of that cable, will travel down this ground here, all the way down 10 feet. And anytime, folks, you're playing with electric, always ground out your box first. Before direct connected to you guys, so you can see I'm grounded out first, and now connect to the U guard. 15 voltage, 100% milliamps. Uh, so it's pretty good. A little resistance that is line. Let's go see how it tones out. You can take note, my cup is turning. I lost my tone. So you can see it's turning right here. And you can see how my tone, I picked it up really good when I did my little baby sweep and I got it right here. And my cup is nice and straight now. My cup is nice and straight now. My cup is nice, nice and straight. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta label it accordingly, folks, when you mark it out power to let them know how many cables are down here. One H pattern means multiple cables. So by me having two H patterns, they should know they should find two separate cables. Remember one set coming from the pole, one set coming from the pole, going to the transformer, feeding, livening up that transformer. From that transformer, I got another set coming out. Going all the way down, feeding this transformer. So that's that's where I got two sets here. Two sets. So you wanna make sure that ground's all the way connected into the cable up there and it's all connected to the ground that's inside the cable. And it comes down this wire all the way to the ground, 10 feet. That's grounding out this pole just in, this, just in case this cable has any issues if it starts acting up the force of the electricity will go right into the ground here down down 10 feet into the ground versus blowing up the pole and catching the pole on fire that's why you guys never want to peel back the ground at all because it's on the main cable and you can see right here so when you peel back the ground you should never touch it never ground never ground out right there because if anything ever happens to that cable and you're touching that ground, you guys can get lit up, light up, energized. You 
and you don't want that. So always make sure you expect the pole, make sure it's grounded, and then you can clip right onto the U-guard. All right, folks, we're all done with this project here. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave it in a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Have a good day, folks.